Now let's analyze um, the paths that go towards uh, each of the detectors. So first we will look at the paths that go to detector 1. Detector 1 has two paths, red and orange. Let's start with the red. It's the last one we've drawn. And we just write how much phase it has picked up before it enters the detector. Pi over 2, this one, plus pi, this one, plus pi over 2, this one. In total it's 2 pi phase. In terms of our representation of the unit circle, it looks exactly at zero. Two pi rotation is the rotation around the, the full circle. So it's there at zero. Now let's look at the orange case. Orange picks up phase pi over two. Oh, sorry, we shouldn't check out the orange one. Yes, I'm starting to get confused also with everyone. We shouldn't check out the orange one because the orange goes in a different di detector. Yes, orange goes here. You see, you follow the orange path, it comes to a different detector. That's why the second one that comes to the first detector is a blue. Yes, to the first detector comes a blue path. Let's now look how much phase it has picked up on the blue path. Blue, not orange. So, in the beginning it's zero, plus zero, then plus pi, then plus zero, and in total it's pi phase. In terms of our unit circle representation it's the opposite side yes here's pi and again you can do all of the analysis by yourself before you continue watching the video so you might pause the video at every point and try to do analysis yourself and see what happens okay so now we see that the phase difference of the light that comes into detector one is pi, yes, 2 pi minus pi equals to, I'll draw it with red so no confusion happens, is equal to pi. When there's pi relative difference means that the waves come exactly in the opposite fashion. That means we will see a destructive interference there. So we expect no photons to be seen in detector 1. But that's a little bit later. Yeah. Now let's examine the path that come to the detector 2. It's the orange and the green path. Yes, detector number 2, you look at the colors, orange and the green path. So let's start with orange. Orange path plus pi over 2, plus pi, plus 0, equals to 3 pi over 2. Green path, plus 0, plus pi, and then it got reflected, plus pi over 2, equals to 3 pi over over 2. Our representation of it in terms of unit circle is the same. I'll draw this one unit circle for both of them. Here. Yes, in other words, both orange, both orange and green waves are in sync 
In other words, it looks like. And it's better to keep in mind your representations, like all of those representations in terms of numbers, in terms of circles, and in terms of the waves as they are, look like waves. Yes? So the waves come in sync, so they will create a constructive interference. So the light will come there. Now, how do we analyze this? We see that with 50-50 beam splitters, again, if we have not 50-50 beam splitters, the situation is more difficult. Uh, but with 50-50 beam splitters, the beam splitters that split light into two equal like pieces, uh, we see that detector one will never see a click of light, while detector two will see the light always. So what we see essentially, if we don't look at what happens inside the beam splitter, I'll draw it somewhere here. We see the light coming into the beam uh, into the Mach center interferometer. Then I'll draw it in this way. We don't know what happens inside. And we see light coming out only into detector 2. Yes, there's no light coming out towards detector 1. That's what we see in this case. Now, my question at the end of this video. Can we change the situation in some way? You might think about it for a second. Think about what we should do in order to change this situation. Pause the video and think. Now, I assume you have thought about it. I will draw very fastly our Max Zander interferometer, beam splitter, beam splitter, mirror, mirror, the two paths and the detectors. Now, in order to change the situation, we need to change the relative length of the paths. So we need to change the phase between them. There is a way to do it. And it looks like this. You put a piece of glass in uh, some path of the in the interferometer and then uh, do the calculation again. Let's say the piece of glass adds some phase phi. Try to think where should you put the glass and uh, how big this phase should be like maybe pi over 2 plus pi over 2 minus pi over 2 maybe plus minus pi over 4 or maybe plus minus pi or whatever. Think about it, think what, uh, what it can do and uh, and try to try to see whether you can get the interference fringes to change to for the light to go only into detector one and not go into detector two or the light go in some other interesting way. Okay, now you have paused the video. I will say the kind of the answer. You can put the piece of glass with pi shift somewhere here and by doing that you might obtain other interesting results try to do it and uh, see in the next video what happens